My guest today is Chairman of the Azerbaijani Public Union Reserve and Retired Officers, Yashar Jafale. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. Today we will speak about problems of the families of the persons who has been missing during military campaigns in 1991-1994. How many people were lost during that period? Is there any documents or official information proving the number of those persons? There are a lot of information about the number of people who have been missing during that period. However, unfortunately, one information doesn't coincide with the others. Some sources state that the number of them are 5,000 and others say lower figures. Generally, the State Commission for Captives, Hostages and Missing People gives information about that. At present, according to the Commission, the number of missing people during military operations in 1991-94 are 424, if I'm not mistaken. However, studies are continuing on that area. How the problems of the families of those missing people are solved? Well, the public union has been involving in this issue since 2008. At present, we are realizing a project financed by the Council of State support to non-governmental organizations. We have also conducted inquiry among the families of missing people. Survey results show that there is dissatisfaction and there are a lot of problems, and local executive power don't care about those problems. Recently, we have visited several families in the Kpatan region. Representatives of the local executive power also came to see those families, and they also admitted that the families of the missing people suffer from a number of problems. The families want to find missing persons. They hope that they are alive and will return back. However, most of them realize that there is a very little chance of surviving. How many civilians and military servicemen are there among missing persons? Actually, I don't know the statistics, but I can say that if I'm not mistaken, 99% of the missing people are military servicemen. Most of hostages are civilians, however, majority of them are military servicemen who were lost during fighting. In which fights have a lot of people been lost? Well, especially during fights at Koradis and Kalbajar in winter in 1993-94, a lot of people were lost. Is there any files or documents about military servicemen who were lost during military operation in 1993-94? Actually, I haven't seen those files, but of course there are documents and files in which they have been registered. A lot of information about missing people should be uploaded on websites even websites of non-governmental organizations, because this will help to carry out further investigations. But unfortunately, no information is being provided. Only after we delivered critical speeches about the Commission, they began to provide information on missing people on their websites. We called them to work together with us, and no answer was provided yet. Actually, investigation of missing people by state committees, law enforcement agencies don't give positive results. What I want to say is that media representatives, volunteers are more involved in successful investigations. What can you tell us about that? It's true that state committee doesn't do much work in this area. Only foreign journalists, even local journalists, collect information about missing people during the war. I've heard that in 1994-95, during the war, International Red Cross Committee collected the dead bodies of the people who died during the war and buried them in special cemeteries. What can you tell us about it? Well, we are working together with International Committee of the Red Cross. Perhaps several are top secret. However, they provide almost all information about actions they have done. The committee also are not satisfied with the work done by the State Commission for Captives, Hostages and Missing People. The International Committee of the Red Cross carry out investigations. They visit the families of the missing people, give inquiries, learn about their problems and highlight it on the media. In this way, the society is getting aware of those families' problems. International Committee of the Red Cross conducted campaigns and visited the families of the missing persons and helped them. Are non-governmental organizations are also concerned about the situation of those families? Do they go to their houses and learn their problems? Local non-governmental organizations also work in this area. I think you have heard about it. Arzu Abdullayev, head of Azerbaijan's National Committee of the Helsinki Citizens Assembly, 
I've done much work in that area. They go to the families' homes. Also, I want to mention that there is no status of the missing persons and their family members. They are called martyrs. However, a law must be adopted on missing people and their families, and all of the missing people should possess special status. A memorial should be built for them, and also August 13th is, is International Day of the Disappeared. Is, this is also celebrated by non-governments and other organizations. They visit the families of the missing pe mi people. There is also one problem faced by the families of the missing people, that insurance money is not paid to them. There is a rule in the Legislation Act on payment of insurance that if one person appeals insurance agency to pay insurance money after three years, she or he must not pay the money. At present, 62 people appeal to our organization. They are not paid insurance money. However, Minister of Finance refused to pay the money to the families of the missing persons. Therefore, we decided to appeal to related authorities and get permission from them to hold pickets in front of the Ministry of Finance. Do you think about appealing to the court? Of course, we think about it. But first, we plan to hold picket in front of the Ministry, and if it doesn't work, we will take the issue to the court. Thank you for the interview. My guest today was Chairman of the Azerbaijani Public Union Reserve and Retired Officers, Yashar Jafar. Thank you.